Sephora sale order is here. What's up girl gang welcome back to my channel i'm hitting you with another bonus episode because i figured i would do a get ready with me with all my sephora sale purchases i waited like two days to open this package you can see it is completely sealed so that i can get ready with you guys before i film episode i think 16 of my podcast which is insane and that's why my lips are dry as fuck because I have a new lip mask I want to try in there so I'm basically going to try and do the video only with stuff I bought from the sale I think I'll be able to do that but let's see I need one of those cute box cutter things that all the girlies have i got some of these like really big cotton pads that they have they're like four bucks but they're like a really good size so i won't need to use those and i also got the brio geo scalp revival which is like their rosemary pre-wash oil i love this brand if you guys haven't heard of them or haven't used them they have great shampoos conditioners masks all of it it's a great great product Let's see if you can see it there I do rosemary oil on my scalp like once a week so I figured I would try their version because it's probably a little bit less greasy so we won't be needing that for this. Shiseido eyelash curler. I have been dying to try this because I have an eyelash curler that I got from like Marshalls or something. It's the tweezer man one and it just like really pinches my eyelid like really bad and I was told that sometimes you need a different shape one depending on your eyelid I have very almond eyes and one is kind of like smaller than the other speaking of my eyes I woke up today with some sort of reaction on my face my left eye was like really swollen almost like swollen shut um it got a little bit better because i ice rolled but you can like i don't know if you can see but it's super like puffy under here which sucks but i have to film today anyway so i wasn't gonna waste my filming day and not put anything up just because of a little reaction so hopefully it goes away soon but this they're both my lids are both a little bit puffy but this left eye was really bad and i don't know why me thinking i could do my entire phase of makeup with just what i bought from this for sale was literally so dumb because <laughs> there's still so many things that i need to get my makeup done so let's start with the Shiseido eyelash curler. My eyelashes are so straight, nothing works on them. And I'm, I just started using an eyelash curler because I'm terrified of eyelash curlers. I don't know if that's like a niche fear, but I'm really scared of them. And um, I know people like heat them up to really get in there, but I'm scared to do that. I'm just scared of it. I'm scared of pinching my eyelid, <laughs> all the things. But let's do that first. It already did just kind of grab my lashes way smoother than the Tweezer Man one. Like with the Tweezer Man one, as soon as I use it, it pinches my eyelid like in weird places. I don't know how to explain it, but I mean, I think I need to curl it longer, but I love that there was like there's like a good cushion on there and right now with my swollen ass eyelids like if I did this with the other one it would pinch so quickly because of how swollen the skin is and I have hooded eyes oh cute you just look so much more awake when you curl your lashes This left eye is the problem child usually because it's smaller and more hooded and more almond and it is so swollen right now. I'm probably going to hate my makeup and feel hideous. Oh. This really is better than other ones. It's like 24, 25 bucks, but 
that's better than the ones I've tried. Let's do the lip mask. This is the Ula Henrik. This is the Ula Henriksen Ole Ole Henriksen. <laughs> um, Ole Henriksen. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. I have seen this all over. I have seen this all over TikTok and people say it's like amazing. Um, I know I'm like kind of new here, but like I am lip product obsessed. I love lip products more than any other makeup products. So this shit was like $22, so it better be good. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the one. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> she is good. Very rich. It's definitely giving. I also got the Summer fri Fried... I also got the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Overnight Serum. I don't know if you guys can see that. What the hell? It's like a retinol overnight eye serum so i don't need to use that right now but i've been wanting to try some of their skincare i did try their sunscreen and it really did not i had a really bad allergy to it so let's see how the eye serum works i need something to hydrate under my eyes next is the brow freeze gel by anastasia i am really excited to try this because i was using the got to be one forever and it just would like get like white and flaky and yeah my, my brows are like unruly so let's do that first because my brows just they need some good holds but like I don't I'm not into like the laminated look I love my brows the way they are so I just like want them shaped and and to hold this lip mask is beautiful I've he always heard so much about Anastasia lip I mean I've always heard so much about Anastasia eyebrow products in general. I love how small the applicator is. It's got like little teeth. Really like lay those brows down. It actually has two sides so I don't know which side you're supposed to use first but it did lay them down nice. I have long eyebrow hair so that's why they look out of shape very quickly. Like I have to get my brows done every two, two and a half weeks because they completely lose shape because the hairs get so long, which is like annoying because I have a unibrow every two weeks and I wish they grew a little slower, but it's not the worst problem to have. I mean, considering some people's eyebrows don't grow like at all or they plucked them out. So my mom was so strict about stuff like that and now I'm like, okay, I appreciate you for that. And that's probably because she plucked hers all out and they didn't grow back, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to look up like which side you're supposed to use first but I like it I like how precise the applicator is the got to be one was like very big of a spoolie and I just felt like it would get all over my face and then turn like white or pill and then when I was like trying to do my other makeup it would just be like a mess like it would wipe off my foundation and all of that so I think that looks pretty good. Really excited about this. I got the Super Goop Skin Tint. This is a new product I'm really excited to try. It's 50 SPF. Um, I used the Super Goop Glowy one for a really long time and sunscreens are hard to find that don't like break you out. So I'm going away next month and this will be great. So I don't have to wear any foundation on vacation. That's a look. I am so over my hair. Like, it gets so greasy so quick. I never wash it, and, and it gets greasy in like a day. And I'm just like sick of like blowing it out. I always go back and forth on if I wanna like color it or, oh, that's, that looks wild. 
I always go back and forth on if I want to like color it, but my hair hates, 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 hates highlights. It does not like bleach. I was actually platinum blonde for like a year and that was so much fun, but I definitely suffered the consequences of that. So let's see how I did on the shade match. I'm pale right now. I did get something a little bit tanner because I will be using this more in the summertime for like just every day. I don't really like wearing makeup in the summer at all. So let's see how I did. And my skin is having like a real moment right now. And I don't mean that in a good way. So, do I want to do this with it? No, I'll just do it with my hand. Um, I think I just look red from rubbing it in. It's definitely dark. Mm. But I think it will be, why does it look so red? That is so weird. Like, I don't know if it's red from me rubbing my face, but it looks bright red or am I bugging? Like, I look like sunburned. I'm confused what's happening here. I am very confused as to why. Oh, maybe it's because I was rubbing my face and now it's like settling down. My skin is like really not happy right now. I don't know why she's so angry. I, for the most part, do not have problematic skin. So this is like really weird for me, if I'm being honest, to have like my rosacea is really bad. I just like, I'm so textured and bumpy and that's not usually the case okay it was definitely for me rubbing it it needs to settle down i will let you know like what i think about this as it wears but that's already looking better i was like what is happening i look fucking sunburned yeah because even when i look in the mirror it's better i think it's a pretty good match especially for like when i'm tan it's i got this recommendation from this other girl i follow and she's a similar complexion as me and she got shade 40w which on the website it looked like it was really dark so i was kind of like hmm but i think she had went and bought it in store so i was like you know what we're similar shade she wanted to use that shade for when she was tan so i said let me get the same shade as her because we're similar shades and honestly those those swatches on the website are so off like this color on the website looked really 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 much darker than this and even when you put it on your skin like like that's not really that dark go in with my hourglass foundation stick in golden almond i'm not really trying to do like anything crazy heavy today i am feeling really 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 out of it i woke up and felt like why is it so dark i woke up and felt like i got hit by a truck this morning um i don't know why i i think i don't know my my period's late and it could be that um i just did not feel good this morning i felt so heavy and then the thing with my eyes was just so weird like i i just i don't know what's happening and i really just like can't, also can't tell how this sunscreen looks <laughs> like at all My eye is looking slightly better, so that's good. Okay, not too much on this contour situation. Just gonna use my dirty old dinosaur egg beauty blender to pat that in. 
I mean, the super goop in this, I think it's like when I'm looking in my phone camera because I'm recording on my phone too, is where it looks really kind of weird. But like on this camera and on my mirror, it does not look weird. And I'm in natural light, so whatever, we'll trust the process. <laughs> I am so excited to try this. This is the House Labs. Can you see it? It's like a white box, so it's probably not going to pick up there. It picks up on that a little bit. The House Labs Concealer. I'm so excited to try this. I love my girl Gaga. She is amazing. I got this in shade 30, which is medium peach. I'm a Kosas Concealer girly through and through. I've been out of it for a little bit, so I was using the hourglass which is an amazing concealer too but it is full full coverage and very heavy where this i think is medium buildable coverage and i haven't bought anything from house labs so i'm really 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 excited to try this um oh and i also got the benetint lip and cheek stain which i'm sure you've all seen so let me actually put that on first so I'm like kind of scared of this because it looks so wet. Let's see. It is very wet. I always see the girlies just do it like this. Oh yeah. It's like very kind of like sunburnt vibes. But this stuff is good for like everyday wear. Like a good sunscreen and like just a little flush on the cheeks nothing too much not too too much you know like yeah it gives like very sunburnt and I know it looks crazy right now but that's because I still have to conceal I like don't want to take this lip stuff off this is going to be a problem. This is way better than Summer Fridays or any of the other ones I've tried. Lina I still love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, but I hate that you have to put your finger in it. And I know that they make the tube one, but I just like don't trust it. Don't ask me why. I'm a creature of habit. Um, I mean, I love trying new things, but with that, I just, I don't know. I feel like the Lip Sleeping Mask is great, but I like to wear lip masks like all day long. So this type of applicator is perfect and you don't have to stick your dirty finger in it. Some other lippy stuff that I want to try, but if I wipe this off, I feel like I wasted it. <laughs> now let's try the concealer. And like I told you guys, we're going to get our powder. Okay, I can't even talk today. We're going to get our powder puff ready to go so that we have beautiful uncreased eyeballs on camera and in life. So we're going to load up that powder puff and really tap off the excess and she's ready. So let's do our concealer placement. I am pumped to try this Miss Gaga. All right. Looks like a good shade for brightening and concealing. We'll see though pretty creamy it's like an interesting texture just put a little on my nose okay that was more than a little okay interesting let's see using my hourglass concealer brush to blend my brushes really need a good wash oh, wash oh my god filming my podcast is going to be really fun today because i can't fucking speak and i need i'm just gonna do this on my finger i really need to know what's happening on my cheeks right now like i think it's because my period is like five days late or something my period has been out of whack not that anybody cares but okay going in to the eyes gonna start with this eye this is really the test 
people are raving about this concealer so let's see what they talking about blending out very nice because if you know if you're a closest girl that stuff blends out like a dream it's so hydrating this is too just keep blending and looking up and keeping that eye open as much as you can you're gonna look like a serial killer pretty good now I won't lie I am creasier than normal which it's probably not even picking up but that's because I'm having this problem with my eyes today so they feel like really dry and swollen but that looks <laughs> that looks good obviously I will continue to use it to see how I feel about it Everyone loves the foundation too, but I'm just like really not that into foundation. So I had to really remember not to be influenced, even though I clearly was. Yeah, this eye is so swollen and puffy. And I forgot to load up my powder puff. Oh, today is going to be a day, guys. Do as I say, not as I do. Pretty. We look so crazy when we're doing makeup. We're like. <laughs> and I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder foundation I just fucking made that up <laughs> I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder like what is happening today welcome to the brain of a woman who suffers with ADHD and can't keep a thought together and no I'm not trying to make ADHD cute because it's not cute it's gonna do a little bit of bronzer where is my bronzer? Did I just put it back? I today would lose my head if it wasn't attached to my body. Like, I am so off. I don't know what is happening. I think I just put my bronzer away when I didn't mean to. And honestly, I don't think I'm getting back up to get it. <laughs> so I think that's it for today. I'm keeping it super light and simple anyway. setting my face with the hourglass veil soft focus setting spray do some mascara let's see how the eye curls holding up that's holding up better than with my tweezer man one that always falls super quick i can't believe how swollen my eyelids are i really i think i said this last time i really want that eyelid surgery where they take your eyelids off or whatever, but I'm like terrified. Honestly, this type of makeup is like way more me anyway. Like super, super soft, really not too much. I love full glam on other people, but I just like don't love it on me. And sometimes I do it pretty heavy for my podcast just so it shows up good on camera and on YouTube, but I don't really love it. This is so clean to me, just and I think like now that everything's done, I really like how the tinted sunscreen just gave me like a base to go on, but it's like not too much. And I didn't, I really didn't do much. So this is great. I don't know if this would be like great on camera all the time, but for today it's going to do. Um, all right. For the sake of the video, I will wipe my lippies off because I really want to try this other thing I got. I'm going to go in with the one size lip liner in the shade Rent Do just to line my lips. This is not a new purchase. I love this lip liner. 
Now I have been looking, oh my god, when my lips look like this, all I can think of is, um, real how, when my lips look like, look, when my lips look like this, all I can think of real, it, oh my god, I can't get a fucking sentence out today. It really is going to be fun trying to get a podcast out. When I look at my lips like this, all I can think about is Real Housewives of New Jersey, <laughs> Margaret, <laughs> saying to Jen, your lips look like a monkey's asshole. <laughs> That's all I see. Like when I just have the liner on, because they do. Anyway. I have been looking for the perfect baby pink lip gloss forever that looks good on my natural lip color with my skin tone. I know last video I did the MAC combo that I found, which I like, but it was more nude and it was a little bit too, not too because I would wear it, but like wasn't giving like baby true pink no matter how I tried it. Maybe just the gloss alone, which I didn't try, but I just always need an excuse to buy another lip gloss. So my favorite person for makeup, hands down, is Patrick Ta. He has been for a long time, like, not to be like, mm, but before he blew up for, and I think I did a TikTok video too, before he like really blew up, like obviously people know who he was, but before he was doing like all the influencers makeup and like, his blushes blew up. I had like his foundation, his blushes. They're expensive, but they're so high quality. Like the packaging of all his stuff. This is the foundation. Like it's great for traveling because everything is like compact. You can just pile it on top of each other in your cosmetic bag or whatever. And I don't know, there's something so luxe about his products, but like still good quality whereas some other products I feel like they're so expensive and they're not that good same with hourglass like hourglass has phenomenal products but their price point is really crazy like I really want more hourglass products but I can't like justify it when I have so much stuff like their palettes the ambient palettes are beautiful um and I love I love when these luxe products are actually good and they're not just bullshit which I find a lot of other brands are just kind of bullshit and it's like you could get the same thing for cheaper from a brand that costs less like elf is amazing all of the dupes they make all of their products are phenomenal I love elf but Patrick Ta is my number one so I got the Patrick Ta lip gloss this is the plumping gloss which I have never tried so this will be my first time trying it in the shade say less which looks like this beautiful pink oh my god it's so pretty let's see oh, yeah okay I'm so excited oh she pink Oh my God. It is exactly, exactly what I was looking for. This smells insane. Oh my God. It smells literally like candy. I'm not even kidding you. I don't know if anybody else did this, but <laughs> me and my friends used to like eat our lip gloss when we were in elementary school. <laughs> like lip smackers. Some of them were edible. Some of them were not. We were equal opportunist lip gloss eaters. So we ate all of them. This smells beautiful. And it's exactly the shade I wanted on this camera it's picking up a little bit more nude on my phone it's picking up a little bit more true to tone it's a little tingly not anything crazy so far but holy shit this is like this type of combo is what I have not been able to find like a neutral brownie lip liner with a pinky feel in the middle I just haven't been able to find one. My lips are also very pigmented, like they're pretty rosy. And I think this is my favorite product of the haul. 
This is the lip combo I have been searching high and low for. I can't get over it. Favorite purchase of the haul. Well, of course it's the lip products. I am obsessed with lip products. I'm not being dramatic. My hair just isn't herring right now, but that's okay. I actually hate when people say things like, my hair isn't herring, but I just said it. So that's annoying. <laughs> I just hate that everyone says something isn't doing something for everything. The water's not watering, <laughs> but I still say it. So I'm being a hypocrite. Um, I feel shitty, but now I feel better. And that combo is 10 out of 10. I'm obsessed. Anyway, I need to go film the next episode of my podcast. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe, like, share, comment. Let me know if there's anything you want to see. I'm happy to give that to you or anything you want to talk about or want me to talk about on my podcast. I have a playlist called The Girls Room with Clarissa, and that's where you can find all of my episodes. So go there and I will see you guys. I'll try to do another bonus episode. Maybe I'll try to do like two a month or something like that if you guys enjoy it. Um, the last one did pretty well considering how small my account is. So yeah, I hope to see you guys in the girls room. I love you and I'll see you soon.